Show me what you want me to do. He's like, do whatever you can to make yourself happy. Never, but he was oh, yeah. pretty successful and he lost everything. Yeah. In the- He's here to clear all the old energy so that and for a day and a half he sat there still with no pulse whatever makes you happy that's what you do i got a call i was in africa she's like sebi i thought of you and I just quit my job and I'm gonna do this. I was like, whoa. I was like, you got a backup plan? I don't, you know, I don't inspire you to quit your job. She's like, nope, it was time. I was like, well, brava, yeah. you know? But that's like, you know, with, with this, you know, kind of going back to like a little bit on the, on what I started with is that, that level of surrender and brava. trust. And even Shivananda, when he said that uh, in his, um, uh, ceremony here Mm -hmm. he said you know he was a businessman he had all this horses or whatnot and these i don't know exactly what type of business or whatever but he was pretty successful and he lost everything and then he was guided to be who he was truly yeah right and so i think that that's a lot it doesn't mean that everybody's these you know walking stains that manifest ash out of their hands and things like that but the we all have this this level of what we're supposed to do to right. contribute in the world. Right. And, and like when we trust and we take those, those leaps of faith yeah. and into like saying, okay, yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe this sounds crazy. Maybe all the logic says, you know, should I really be buying a one way ticket to India? But I mean, to Italy, but at the end of the day, it all worked out. Okay. And the connections and relationships you build yeah. that who knows what the the next one, two, three, five years are going right. to look like, whether there's more work to do at that center right. in Africa, whether it's some of those relationships, whether it's more to be seen or be be told with yeah. India, whether it's the stories that inspire right. others. But there's, there's your path. There's a ripple effect mm-hmm. from it, too. Yep. And I think that's one of the things that Shivananda spoke about that really hit my heart is he's here to clear all the old energy so that your original path what you came here on this planet to do can reveal itself and you know like he said the other night and which is what i i just was almost like a moment of enlightenment whatever makes you happy that's what you do Mm -hmm. Cutting hair could make you happy. Waitressing could make you happy. You know, whatever it is that lights up that energy inside you, that's your path. That's a clue. That's where you need to head. And so for me, doing interviews like this on your end, you know, being the interviewer and learning about people's lives lit me up. And so while I was gone, it hit me, I was in Shirdi Baba's temple, and it was almost like, hello, why aren't you recording? I was like, oh yeah, that's my joy. That's what I love is yeah. learning these stories. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so, it takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know the one, just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. So I got a hold of my friend Cindy that was there on tour with us. And um, she was from Mendocino, which is where my radio show plays out of. And she was a teacher. And she heard about this mantra from this other saint, Kaleshua. She dropped everything and went to go stay in India for a vacation to learn more. She gets there. He was like, hey, come on. I'm going into a yoga samadhi. What's that? She's like, okay. I know. That's what I said. I was like, what's that? So it was her and a doctor were the only ones in the room that stayed with him. And he sat down and went into meditation and was gonzo. Doctor checked his pulse. No pulse. That's why he was there to watch the body and make sure that nothing happened while he was gone. And for a day and a half, he sat there, still, with no pulse. 
Yeah. So I was like, did he come back? And he's like, yeah. He came back a day and a half later. I was like, well, what did he say? She's like, well, he was part of a soul council in the, within the universe. He represented Earth. And he had to speak first this time. He thought he'd be there for three days, but they made him speak on behalf of Earth first because we were running at such a low, we were running at such a low positivity level. So in other words, they said we were running at 70% negativity for the planet. And so they're really, really concerned. And I was like, what? what? <laughs> like, this is fascinating. He was like in a soul council meeting somewhere in another dimension. She's like, yeah. I was like, okay. So, okay, I, so we're, we're operating at 70% negativity here. That's and then, what the so message what did, was. So what did you ask? Uh, what he spoke about or reported yes, about? She did. She, she, he said, he asked the council, he said, look, you need to give more people's cities their power so that they can help heal others so that the vibration can raise. I think she said the main thing that was so neat was the heart. There mm -hmm. were so many broken hearts and so many people protecting their hearts that they're not living from their hearts and so that joy that love which is a higher vibration isn't there and it needs to be there and it's bizarre because before i moved to california i had this crazy epic dream and it was very similar where they said whoever i was talking to said yeah they're like we're running on this ethereal negative ethereal energy like your insects, your beasts, your humans, everybody has such low vibrational levels that the protection for your planet is no longer, it's that ethereal protection that used to be created. And I was like, well, what do you do? They're like, laugh. And then the end of the dream was like these credits of like laughing babies is like, do whatever you can to make yourself happy. It's all you have to do is find your happy and do that and that raises the vibration it spreads to the next person and if you can get that joy energy going it's joy and love are your high frequencies yeah you have potentiality to shift the whole planet and it could go just like that if you like this content make sure that you like subscribe and comment below and we also have amazing link right there for some cool products i know you want to check it out i know you want to click it go ahead go ahead come on you can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.